Pen as a medium is quite challenging to shade with and in this video I'm going to show you how to hold pen to shade. To be able to smart to achieve this smooth result, stick to the end of this video. No need to worry, I'm going to keep this video slow for your better understanding. Let's jump right in. Now before you start shading, make sure you clean all pencil marks on the paper before shading with the pen. Sometimes shading on these marks without even erasing them a bit leaves you with certain annoying brownish color beneath. Here I started with drawing very light vertical lines. Hold your pen with a loose grip and try to do shade in one direction at a time for even shading. Make sure you clean all pencil marks on the paper before shading with the pen. I'm shading with a very light hand. Try not to leave gaps in between lines. So it's basically just the hatching and the cross hatching techniques. It's quite challenging to give that smooth lighter shape, but it will come out perfect with some more focus and practice with a lot of patience. I was getting nervous. I just switched to an easy area to work with to get some confidence on my skills and then again get back to work on what I started. Hold the pen this way. It should be in between only your two fingers. Don't add your thumb. Hold it very light to keep the consistency in your strokes.
identify and preserve my highlights and extra careful shading around them. Then I have started with the final texture layer to create the overall pattern by drawing some horizontal kind of waves and with some scribbling types of shading as well. try to give a perfect tone in a single flow but work on that over and over until the perfect color tone is achieved Then I've drawn more darker lines over some areas. trying to fill the spaces in between the strokes. The kind of details in skin needed a very good observation skills with the reference picture. Any kind of mismatch with the flow of the shading could lead to a not so realistic portrait in the end. technique to blend those light and dark areas. You can also join me in my Facebook group over 25,000 members and share your work with me for any advice. All you need to do is to tag logo at class in any of your posts. We will also share the link in the description of this video. Follow to join us. subscribe and like the video. I would really appreciate it please.